Try envisioning Babe Ruth losing his life on a baseball field just before the World Series, or Michael Jordan before the NBA Finals. That's exactly what happened to Dale Earnhardt in February of 2001. It was the last lap of the Daytona 500. Dale Earnhardt was riding behind Michael Waltrip and Dale Earnhardt Jr., both of whom were racing for Dale Earnhardt Enterprises. This is the faded final lap. As you can see, Earnhardt's car right in the middle, the number three, hitting the wall at nearly 200 miles an hour. Now officials knew that the scene was grim, but nothing was known or announced. Earnhardt was transferred to Halifax Medical Center in Daytona with unknown injuries. Now the other car here was driven by Ken Schrader who was a friend of Earnhardt's and another driver who was on the NASCAR circuit for quite a while. He walked up to make sure that Dale was okay and ended up signaling for the workers to come by faster that something was seriously wrong within the car. And nobody knows his exact condition because nobody has ever really talked about it. But you can tell from the autopsy reports and everything else that this was a dire situation at this time. Now anybody watching that day certainly remembers this image of the ambulance leaving Daytona Motor Speedway and just how slowly it was going, which would either usually symbolize a spinal injury or death. Now this is the actual in-car camera of the accident from Earnhardt's car. And you can see the exact point of impact right here. This is undoubtedly one of the toughest announcements that I've ever personally had to make. Uh, but after the accident and turn four at the end of the Daytona 500, uh, we've lost Dale Earnhardt. This is one of the few photos that exists of the car after the accident. These are the photos taken inside the car after the accident. After this accident, NASCAR made it mandatory for all drivers to wear a Hans device to support their head and neck in event of an accident. If Earnhardt had been wearing one, he probably would have survived this accident. A public funeral service was held for Dale Earnhardt on February 22nd of 2001 here at Calvary Church in Charlotte. <laughs> 